Hey everybody, it's Prep for Life, and today we're going to talk about a new shelter that's on the market. It's called the Haven Tent. Um, these guys actually just came out of Kickstarter. Really cool, innovative design, different than any other kind of lay flat hammock that I've seen, in that it's designed specifically to to be a lay flat, there's very little sag. The engineering in it is actually really spectacular. And what you're looking at here would be the Haven Shelter with an included bug net and a tarp. So it's kind of an all-in-one type thing, ready to go. You just pull it out and clip it to your, your tree straps and you're done. So one of the really innovative things about this shelter is that I could hang it from a tree or I can actually set this up on the ground and for example, use my, uh, my trekking poles to just stand it up and use a couple of stakes. But it's kind of the best of all worlds. And again, size wise, I mean, you can see in my hand, it's not the tiniest, right? It's not gonna be like your um, ultra small backpacking shelter. But at the same time, when you consider that this is everything, including hammock, bug net, tarp, straps and um, an insulated pad rather than a you know let's say an under quilt or anything like that it's actually not too bad and this package itself I got about six pounds or just just over six pounds when I weighed it um, so it's somewhat impressive I, I just I don't think that it's too much uh, to consider taking on a backpacking adventure so let's go ahead and set this up i'll give you my thoughts and and just kind of let you know what i think of it but all in all like i haven't had a chance to take this out yet into you know for a field test but just kind of playing around with it here in the yard or up in the up in the canyon um, i'm impressed Okay, so that worked out really well. As you can see, I took the trekking poles, just extended them out, took the little feet off right here, and that ends up really working to bolster those out. How you doing in there, buddy? Good. Awesome. And then basically just have those tethered out, as you can see. So that that ends up being a really comfortable, again, with that rain fly built in, you know, that's a great little entry and exit. And let me show you on the other side. Okay, there's actually also some tethers down here. This little toggle, that's to really kind of batten down the hatches in case there's maybe a storm coming and I can just use that to really kind of shelter myself in place uh, and, and really kind of shut out the storm. So that's kind of cool or I can just kind of leave it flapping. I can tie these out to trees and just kind of do, you know, both sides out like that. Um, or if I really don't need it, there is a way that I can just bunch this up and using these little ties right here, I can actually just uh, scrunch up the rain fly and just not even use it or drop it all together. If, you know, as you can see, it just, it just passes through here with the carabiner. So maybe if I want to drop some weight, I could just take that off altogether if I know there's not going to be any weather issues where I go. And then as you can see, the combination of the ridge line up in here, right? That comes right over here into these carabiners, all ties together. And then you also have some tight ridge lines that go right here along the sides. And those provide rigidity to the side as well. And the whole thing just kind of, you know, pulls taut, but then basically drops in a great little area here for the pad and it just comes together really really well and then right here as you can see these poking out that's where the two poles come in to just give the whole thing a box like design um, that you know when you consider everything's wide open there's pockets in all the places you need them to be like a little phone pocket shoe pocket um, 
I could actually take some carabiners and tie my my bag, you know, my backpack right here to the ridge line, or even organizational pockets from there. Uh, this kind of has it all. I think it's all the options that I would want in a shelter for just all different occasions. Really impressive. So really after having experimented with it and tried it out a couple of different ways, the only drawback I can think to this is, is again, if you're really an ultra light backpacker, this may not be the shelter for you and I totally get that. But for those that just kind of want something that's all in one, everything together, grab and go. I, I do think it's a solid option. The price is comparable to putting together other kind of shelter kits like that. The weight I don't think is, is astronomical. The only issue that I had with this is that I'm a larger person, right? So height wise, I'm totally fine. I'm about six one, six foot one inches. And height wise, this is just fine. I have plenty of room from head to toe, uh, even including, you know, uh, putting a carabiner in and, and, and actually hanging my bag from the ridge line inside. So I was really impressed with that. The problem that I have is width. So when I measured this, it's exactly two feet across. And for somebody like me, now this may not be a problem for some of you smaller campers. I find myself really having the coffin effect in this shelter. And in fact, when I went to go pick this up from Haven Tents, uh, right as I stepped out of my truck, I mean, that was the first thing he said is, you know, this might be a little snug for you because you're a larger individual. But he said they're working on an XL version. They should have that out to Kickstarter coming up pretty soon. Obviously, COVID may have uh, thrown off the schedule on that a little bit. But I'll be excited to test that one out because I think if it were wider, this might just be like on my list of perfect shelters all around kind of for every occasion, especially for like maybe in a bug out situation where I might just toss this into my bug out bag because then I'm prepared for really kind of any scenario that I might come across, strap it across a tree to hang, uh, set it up on the ground. It's just kind of like all scenarios in one, again, because it's an insulated pad. I'm not too worried about super cold. I think it just covers all bases. So those are my overall thoughts. Go ahead and check them out. I'm gonna put some links down below. Feel free to check out their website uh, and let them know that we sent you. And uh, hopefully, if I've earned it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and a like and uh, subscribe to the channel for uh, future videos that we come out with. Thanks for watching.